As we continue our celebration of Black History Month with the focus on Church of the Brethren historical figures, I'm excited to introduce to you Maddie Cunningham Dolby. She was born in 1878 in Cottage Grove, Indiana to Brethren parents. She was baptized at age 16, and Maddie and her brother Joe became the first African-American students to enroll at Manchester University in the year 1900. Maddie loved to learn, and she spent her time in the Bible department. Unfortunately, the racial prejudice at Manchester was so strong that Maddie and Joe had to eat their meals off campus their first year. However, by the second year, there were a few students who decided to do the right thing. Several students, led by Otho Winger, made it their job to surround Maddie with love and acceptance. They included her at their table in the dining hall. After college, Maddie was called to join a Brethren Mission Project in Palestine, Arkansas in 1903. Life was hard for African Americans, but Maddie believed education had power. She started a Sunday school program that grew from three boys to 22 children. Children who had no interest in learning about the Bible could now hardly wait for the next Sunday to come. Maddie ministered to the adults, too. In another one of her letters, she wrote to brethren in southern Ohio, who she knew had good homes and plenty of food, to ask for financial help. Unfortunately for Maddie and her congregation, the early 1900s were a time when brethren were getting really excited about mission work in India and China, and Maddie's requests to help African Americans here in the United States were ignored. In 1907, Maddie contracted malaria and had to return to Southern Ohio. Maddie married her husband Newton, who was an engineer in 1907. They moved to Ohio so that Newton could work at Wilberforce University and Maddie studied Greek there for two years. Maddie was an incredible Bible teacher. The Frankfort Church of the Brethren called Maddie and Newton to be deacons, and four years later, Maddie was called to be a minister. She was one of the first women to be called to ministry in the Church of the Brethren. The Dolby spent a few years in Mount Morris, Illinois, where they welcomed their first two children before moving back to Urbana, Ohio. They became members of the Springfield Church of the Brethren, but unfortunately, there was soon a change in leadership in Springfield, and the Dolbys were asked to leave because of racial prejudice. From that point on, the Brethren lost track of Maddie, but she continued to minister in other denominations until her death in 1956. As we reflect on Maddie's story, I wonder, if we were students at Manchester University, would we have joined Otho Winger as he invited her to his table in the dining hall? Or would we have watched from the sidelines? When Maddie asked her Southern Ohio neighbors for support for her mission, would we respond to the needs of our neighbors? And while we would never ask a person of color to leave our church with our words, what would we say with our actions and body language? Would we insist that they do things according to our cultural norms? Is our welcome wide enough that persons of color would want to make their home here with us. Maddie's story is a reminder of what the Holy Spirit can do in the life of a person who is completely open to it. You never know when a person like Maddie will show up. My prayer is that when she does, that we'll be ready to welcome her. <laughs>